Okay, so here we are, a week later. A little bit more out now. Um, this week I'll try to make the commentary sound a little bit less like I just had rather a lot to drink. So here we go. Right. This is sick calcicola from China. And this is a first year plant from Holder Perna. Very dark flower, very nice. The selected Tibeticums. This one's slightly later flowering and slightly darker than the one I showed last week. Crossy eyes still there. This potful here is Macranthos. Doing, unfortunately, what Macranthos tends to do for me, which is to grow but not flower. As you can see, there are a couple of dead buds at the base of the top leaf and most of the cones that I grow seem to do this on a fairly regular basis. Okay, this one is pink form of Macranthos. Quite a nice flower. Again, most of them have died. Most of the flower buds have died and just one opened. And this one's probably got a little bit of ventricosum blood in it. Acylating going over. Ah, new one for this week, Henry Eye. Three stems, two of the stems have got three flowers on them, doing quite nicely now. At the back, Parviflorum var pubescens. Pretty thing. And down there, a Tibeticum clone about to open. One at the front. This is a bit of an unknown. Lost its label. Maybe it's Gisela. Maybe Ventricosum, who knows. At the back, a new one for this week. This is called Annette. And it is Macranthus by Candidum. Smallish white flowers, tiny bit of red in them. Probably made with the Arbor clone of Macranthus. Down here at the front, nice pot full of a hybrid called Jens, Calciola by Shams Jens, and it appears to rather want to increase in size rather than flower. Anyway, there we go. One day, hopefully, it will flower. So, random pot of Sabine. This one was bought as Renata Alba, but obviously not. The white Sabine. Doing very nicely now, three big white flowers, very beautiful. Coming along. This one with the twining flower stems here. This is Carol Eileen, which is pubescence by Hote. And unfortunately, the stems are rather weak, so, that, so the flowers flop quite a bit. A new one for me here. This one, with a bit of slug damage, is an unknown. It was bought as Pluto and should be similar to Sabine, obviously not much smaller. A bit of yellow in the flower and red. So Macranthus complex by Calciolus or something like that. Next up, this one is known. Very rich colour. This is called Bill. And it's Tibeticum, I think, by pubescence. Very strong colouring. At the back, some of the um, Kentucky Ends hybrids just started to get going. In the middle here, that's Aki. So we've got pubescence by Macranthos, yellow lip, red sepals. And then in front, small flowered, but many of them. This is Ingrid. And Ingrid, if I can remember, is part of. Parviflorum cordigerum. So there we go. Now then, the earliest of the Ken big Kentucky Ents hybrids, that's Lucy Pinky Pank, which is um, Tibeticum by Kentucky Ents. Big flowers, big plants. And moving along, we have a Ventricosum alba. This is a frosh hybrid with a little bit of colouring in the sepals. Other than that, it's a pretty pale flower. 
and then the rest of the ones you've seen before. So we've got Sunny at the back, then a fairly big Sabine at the front, Maipel, then Inga, Gabriella, and finally another Sabine Alba in the corner. And because they haven't got room now on the floor, here's a Ventricosum, standard form, doing pretty well. Uh, flowers are nothing to write home about, could be twice the size, but there we go. So let's finish with a view down the various pots. And that is pretty much it for this week. Cheerio, bye.